Hello, my Ninja Warriors. Welcome to Warrior Wednesday on a thriving Thursday because we can. Question for you. Do you know and are you familiar or are you actually connected to what a win for you for this quarter would look like? Are you clear on what it'll take from you to crush your goals for this quarter? Now, we're on March 3rd, 3-3-2022, so March 3rd, uh, and the end of this month will be the end of the quarter in case you are not connected to that. So why am I sharing this with you? Because as I'm having conversations with my clients this week and last week, noticing a theme and I want to share with you this theme so that you can get dialed in and crush your goals for this quarter so if that excites you comment say yes I'm excited give yourself some hearts let me know you're here if you're actually tuning on here live and when you catch the replay comment with hashtag encore let me know you were here so I can say hello and give you some love all right so with that being said going back to the topic so we're in uh, Pisces season, first and foremost. So welcome, March Pisces. This is your season. The end of March will be Aries. Uh, so hang on, Aries. Hang tight. Let, let, let's let our Pisces brothers and sisters enjoy their time here, okay? So now my question for you is, are you being in possibility? And also, are you being focused on creating prosperity with what you're creating here in your goals? So if the answer is no, it's an opportunity for you to check in and see, well, what's actually in the way of you being in possibility. I'm going to go over a few things with you guys that will support you in being really clear on a roadmap that will lead you to actually closing the gap to crush your goals for this quarter. So that if this excites you, let me know, comment below and get engaged with me. All right. So with that being said, uh, like I said, we're one more month before the end of the quarter, March 3rd, the quarter ends at the end of March. And uh, what does it look like for you to win? What does it look like for you to win this quarter? So I want you to get connected to that. So before I go into uh, more of the content, I actually want to set a, some context with you about goals. And this is something I'm noticing with many people that... You know, you could be in a space where you don't have goals or you're not clear on your goals or you're not willing to commit to a goal. If any of those apply to you, you're not alone, first and foremost. And um, the analogy is imagine yourself going on a trip and you're going to drive your car to get to the trip. OK, so whatever. Say you're going to Florida, all right, wherever you're from, you're going to Florida. So would you get in the car, drive to Florida without a map or without a GPS? Yes or no? And if the answer is yes, then maybe you're adventurous and you want to do that. Hey, Mo, happy birthday. Your birthday's coming up, Habibi. Happy birthday. Another Pisces in the building right here. <laughs> um, so going back to the analogy. So are you in a, Are you going to get in a car, go to Florida? If you're in Florida, maybe go to another state or travel to another state or country or whatever um, without a GPS. An air pilot will not fly a plane without a GPS, obviously. Now, why am I sharing this? Because if you don't have a GPS, you don't have a roadmap on the end destination you're going, you're going to end up being in your car. If you're taking your car, you're driving all over the place, you're going to waste time, waste energy, waste gas money, right? And then not go anywhere, right? So that's exactly what it looks like when you don't have a goal. You are just floundering and you're not clear on where you're going. You're wasting time, energy, money, resources, everything, and you're not going anywhere. There's nothing to aim for. There's nothing to target, shoot for, strive for, right? So the other thing is, Another car analogy that will support you. You're driving a car, right? You're always looking forward when you're driving a car. You're never looking back. Now, if you're looking back while driving a car, what, what, what ends up happening? What happens if you look back while you're driving? Of course, you're going to get in a car accident. Of course, of course. So why am I sharing this with you? Because um, if you look at the back, like you look back when you're driving, it means you're looking at the past, right? So when you're moving forward, you get to learn from the past, let go of the past and move forward. Otherwise, you'll get into accidents, you're going to crash and uh, crash and burn possibly. And that's not where you want to go. So if this resonates with you guys, comment below and say, yeah, I get it. I rest. Oh my God, this clicked for me, etc. Would love to hear from you. So here are a few things for you to support you on being on point with your goals. So number one, it's a, it's the beginning of a month, March, new month, new possibilities, new opportunities. I want you to connect with and ask yourself, what was your biggest lesson last month? 
What was your biggest lesson? What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about either achieving or not achieving your goals last month? What was your biggest lesson? Okay. Secondly, now that you've learned your lesson, what will you do differently this month? So that this month you actually are on track and stay on track. Okay. Now, um, are you also being intentional with getting outside of your comfort zone? What I mean by that is we're wired to be in our comfort zones. And the thing is, uh, being, uh, being awesome and being great does not come from being average. In other words, if you want to create amazing results, it doesn't come from mediocre, med mediocre performance or actions. You know, it comes from extraordinary actions, right? So part of that is you getting outside of your comfort zone because if you're comfortable, you're not going to grow. So are you committed and are you stretching yourself daily and asking yourself, well, how can I get stretchy today? How can I get outside of my comfort zone today? How can I get outside of my comfort zone in this moment? Are you doing that? If not, you're playing small. Okay. And I'm being really straight up with you. It's something I coached my, one of my clients on the other day. So like yesterday for me personally, I expanded my plate. I did things I would have never done before, but why? Because I'm stretching myself and I stretch, I stretch myself as I'm coaching you to stretch yourself. So what would be a stretch for you? What would be outside of your comfort zone that would support you in creating your goals and your results and your dreams? Comment and let me know. Okay. Another thing I want to connect you with is with the game of you playing your, uh, the game of your life, right? Uh, and you being in connection with your goals. Are you playing? Are you not playing? Are you playing to win or are you playing not to lose? Where are you on the spectrum? How you are showing up? Are you a spectator of your life or are you an active participant of your life? Now, why am I sharing this with you? Because when you're connected and you're dialed in to how are you showing up and how are you playing, it gives you a reference point on the results. Because if you're playing to win, your results are feedback. You're going to see it. But if you're not playing, you're sitting on the sidelines watching, of course, your feedback will be that as well, right? So where are you? And then there's, and by the way, team, there's nothing bad, wrong, right? Any Anything about that. It's more about you being connected to what is and what's not. Last, um, actually more than that. I have more than that, but I want to share with you uh, one more thing. What are you enrolling yourself into? What I mean by that is, are you connected to limitations, excuses, why you can't do it, stories, um, you know, whatever comes up, it's, you know, like, what are you committing to? What are you noticing about yourself? What are you enrolling yourself into? What are the limiting beliefs that are coming up for you about your goals, about being in action, about being consistent, etc.? Or are you enrolling yourself in being in possibility, being committed, crushing it? Where are you? And it's something for you to notice because based on what you believe is how you show up, right? So your habits will reveal what you actually believe. It doesn't matter what you say you believe. What matters is actually how you show up and how you participate in your game of life, all right? So I'm going to wrap up, guys, and we have more stuff I'm going to share with you next time. So the mission, your mission for this week is do a quick check-in on your goals and ask yourself, what are you enrolling yourself into? Are you enrolling yourself into um, being uh, being a winner, participating, creating results, taking action? Or are you enrolling yourself in excuses and reasons why you can't do it? Okay. And what does it mean for you? Share. What does it mean for you to have uh, a, a winning quarter by the end of this month? Right? By the end of March. Okay? Love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you on Warrior Wednesday. Have an awesome Thursday. And I'll see you on Wednesday of next week. Bye for now.